I'm going to show you the software and process I use to create a 3D virtual tour with my Insta360 photos like this. Step one is to copy all the files from your SD card to an SSD. You definitely want an SSD because a normal hard drive is going to be too slow for what we're doing. Open up Insta360 Studio and then import all the files you copy to your SSD. Insta360 will open up a DNG file and show it that way. What I'm going to do is actually go to a room because it seems to have the most difficulty with the rooms and the coloring and things like that. You will see there's a little HDR icon. And I'm going to go for one of the, the big files. So it's now busy loading all the DNG files. So it will create the HDR. Now you will see it, it has some pink coloring there at the top. So you can't really use this. And this is uh, now why we're going to export this and use the rest of the software. Right click on that file and then select start export. You want to export 3D photo. And what I'm, I just create a stitched directory. And you want to select all exposures and start export. So this will now flatten those files and then make sure everything is stitched correctly. Next is to open up Infinity Photo. Go to File, New HDR Merge. Select your directory where all the DNG files are now. Deselect these options and click OK. You can see CPU usage, memory is going up. Using a bit of graphics card there, so it's very intensive process. And there we have our HDR photo. Now you need to install the enhancer, so you will have to buy it from Best360. Go to Window and Macro, you will see I already have that open there. I will just switch that off. Click on Import and I have it in that directory. Click Open. Add to library, give it a name, and there you have it. Now click on your photo, there, that's now enhanced. Select your, the photo itself, change the projection, and now we can set white balance and we can set out contrast play with that until you're happy again select the photo edit live projection Zoom in with control and the scroll wheel. Select in painting brush tool. You can make that a little bit bigger with your if you click on it and you scroll with your mouse wheel, you can make it a little bit bigger. And now we can just clean up a little bit.
I don't think anybody's going to notice that. So that's all good. Then again, go to layer, remove projection. And now our room is ready to be exported. Export the photo, go to file, export, make sure JPEG is selected, best quality. And then I have a single uh, directory where all these JPEGs will go into because it just makes it easier and cooler if you can select all the JPEGs in one go and then upload them all. I will just open up my one tour in Kula that I already have. Click on Add Posts. You can drag that file that we worked on just now and post. And there's the file. So what you can do is you can actually rotate and set current and then whenever someone comes to this room that's what they're going to see and that's how you do it